All right, I'm here at AFC MMA in Newport Richie, Florida, and with me, coming right off of an, a big win at uh, RFA 24, is Gian LaPolga Herrera. Now, Gian, tell me a little bit about that fight, walk me through it. We all saw what happened, man, a beautiful judo throw into some amazing ground and pound. Just tell me a little bit about what you were thinking, how you were feeling. Um, I know that, uh, first of all, what's up, man? Good to see you again. Um, <clears throat> No, it was just, uh, I knew he was going to be a tough guy. I wanted uh, uh, a tough opponent so that I could go in there and make a statement. Uh, Josh Rave was a good wrestler, but um, over at Banks of MMA, man, we dissect things to a point where we go in there and we perform. Now, I, I hear you saying he's a tough opponent and that he was a tough guy, but I mean, you were in firm control that whole fight. From the get-go of the fight, did you have foreseen having pretty much your way with everything you wanted to do? I mean, I just... You know how it is, man. It's all mental, bro. I didn't, I didn't let him invade my mind in any way, and I knew that I was the better fighter before the fight even started. All right, now coming off of that RFA win, uh, what's the news from them? Obviously, they just came off a big event last night. Uh, have they contacted you? Do you have any idea of my, what might be coming up with them? Yeah, um, hopefully, really soon. I, I can't say dates yet because we haven't uh, locked anything in. But uh, so hopefully, very, very soon. Uh, I should be back in the cage and giving the people a show. And what are you doing to keep busy? Because I, I know that you're you're really like, uh, your skin's crawling for another fight. You know, you're really yeah, aching man. for it. So how, how do you keep yourself busy and keep yourself fight ready? It's just, it's the training. You know, I don't stop training. And when you train so much, you get that anxiety. You just want to release it, you know. So my time is coming, man. I'm putting work in the gym. And whenever the guy shows up, I'll be ready for whoever it is, man. For whoever it is. All right, man, and, and what do you think about these fights so far tonight here? They're good, man. Um, you know, these guys are, every time I come by, their, their events are getting better, so I'm glad to be to see it again. I want to I get your thoughts on that last fight there. Obviously, a guy that you've trained with and treat, and Trey Seaholm. Um, now, his opponent, Salim Darice, a guy I've seen before, a guy that comes from some reputable people, his big brother, Muhammad Darice, but... When a fighter has to be told over and over and over to stop with the illegal shots, at some point it's kind of like you're scratching your head over why. So tell me what your thoughts were on that fight. Uh, just pure amateur. Um, the guy is nowhere near a uh, professional level. Um, if you ask me, he's closer to the streets than an amateur, you know, but the sport's not for everybody, you know, and hopefully, you know, he ties up. You know, he starts figuring out how to be a, a good sportsman and, you know, hopefully he can proceed with his career because he looks talented, you know. Let's just see where he goes. All right, man, this has been uh, MMA Matthew with my man, Gian LaPolga Herrera.